Hi, I'm Ryan Szymanski, curator for Battleship New Jersey Museum and Memorial. We just found something cool here in fire room number four. We are in front of boiler number seven, and uh, I don't believe we've ever showed this fire room off on video before. Nominally, it's practically identical to the other fire rooms we have. So we tend to always use fire room number two, which is the one that's on the tour route, and therefore the one that we have uh, relamped so that you can actually see what you're doing in here. About uh, once a quarter or so, we do full checks of all these underwater spaces to make sure that the, the bilges are still dry, the bilge alarms are still functioning, things like that. Uh, but during those tests, we're, we're just going from space to space to space. Uh, so we don't really stop and look around. And today, uh, a couple of my friends were on board for a curator's tour of the ship. And uh, in, in a curator's tour, if you guys haven't taken one yet, uh, I take you around and uh, really we stay off of the regular tour route and hit uh, spaces that you guys want to see. Within reason. There are certainly times when I have to say, no, we, we can't go there for this reason or that reason. But uh, they wanted to go down in a fire room and uh, just the way the tour route worked out, fire room number four was the closest one. So we, so we came down here with our flashlights and uh, we're, we're looking around in way more detail than normal. And and intrinsically, I know that each of the fire room crews have set their space up a little bit differently. Where the burners are, where the light off rods are, where the, uh, the spare fuel nozzles are stored. It's different from engine room to engine room. And it seems like over the ship's career, they got the, the various ship fitters or, or maybe they did it themselves to, to set the space up. And uh, so, so things don't show up in the same place, but it's almost always the same sorts of things that you see. So it just takes a minute to get down here and orient yourself and be like, okay, this spare nozzles are over here in this one instead of over there. Well, there was something we found here that I've never seen before. Down here, there are a pair of uh, test bottles for the fuel oil. This one is uh, fuel oil sample number seven boiler. Uh, and it says DFM, this might say 7.6, or it might say 7B. Uh, so I don't know if that's supposed to be uh, boiler 7, 7B. DFM is diesel fuel marine, or uh, diesel number four, which is the type of fuel the ship was converted to burn in the 1980s. So this is how you would test the fuel oil that you're putting into the burners that's something they would have tested every single watch back when we were burning Bunker C, or uh, essentially unrefined crude oil. Uh, barely refined is, is probably a more correct way of saying that. So that's stuff they, they would be checking pretty frequently. I'm not sure with diesel, because diesel was so much more refined if they were still checking with that frequency, if it was a once a day thing or whatnot. So um, we'll just leave it at that. Why was this bottle down here? because the place where you test it is right here. There's a valve that you remove, you get that under there, get a uh, sample, there's even a little drip pan down there, and then you can uh, look at it and see if it's cloudy. Now these jars, I've seen other places, these jars aren't remarkable. What is remarkable is this second jar that's in there actually still has fuel in it. Uh, I have been wanting to get some sort of liquid that looks right in some of these in the engine room that's open to the public for quite a while, and I just haven't yet because I haven't bothered to look up what the, the diesel fuel actually looked like. And here, now we know. So I've got this dark fuel here. Is this still good to burn? Notice when I put the light behind it, I can now look in and see if there's any particulate in there. There is not, although it has gotten cloudy from sitting there for a while. But that's how you would check uh, the various fuels, lubricating oils, and other things in here. Now, you wouldn't necessarily be doing it by hand. Come over here with me. In other fire rooms, I've seen these, and they're significantly small, and they're like shelves that are mounted to the wall. This one, um, 
Again, it looks like, look, look at this base that it's on. It's made out of a bunch of materials that are just laying around the ship. It seems like uh, something that they made on board specifically for this. And uh, remember earlier we had a question about how often they're doing this. It's stenciled with daily. So that might tell us how often they're, they're checking these samples. These samples uh, specifically seem to be the lube oil, and I'll tell you why I think that in a second. But uh, the, the important thing of this is this door opens up, and inside of it are several lights, so that you can backlight all of your oil samples here and just look at them and see which ones are cloudy. So you notice that each one of these shelves has a pipe in front of it, so that as the ship is rocking and rolling, these glass bottles aren't just gonna come out and spill on the deck and then you've got slippery oil all over the place, flammable oil, uh, all sorts of problems. Uh, so these are specifically labeled by what they are. Uh, oh, like this one, number 10, uh, MFBP, main feed water booster pump, or uh, say number 12, MFP, main feed water uh, pump. So I suspect that these are for the oil samples for the lubricating oils of, of these various uh, pumps. Actually, let's take out that. So this one's number 11 um, MFP. They've carved it into the lid. Uh, they've carved it into the side of the jar so that the lid and the jar are matched up. It's got uh, date, time, and initials carved into it so you could write on that in grease pencil when you did your test. Ha! And it's uh, 2190 TEP, which is uh, turbine lubricating oil. And it has standard scratched into one side, but it's been scratched out. So yeah, this is uh, definitely lubricating oil. And I suspect, based on the, the labels here, that these were all lubricating oils. I'm not sure where the fuel oil was supposed to be. If there's going to be another rack like this somewhere in the space, uh, I haven't had the time to search the whole space and find it. The fire rooms are some of the largest individual spaces on the ship. But there isn't a tag on here that specifically says that it's for uh, diesel fuel marine or number seven boiler or anything like that. It, uh, it looks like lubricating oil for the various pieces of, of equipment in this space. What do you think? How many miles per gallon do you think I can get if I uh, dump this in my Honda Civic? Battleship New Jersey receives operating support from the New Jersey Department of State, also from a number of other businesses and private individuals like yourselves. We really appreciate your support. It's what allows us to explore the ship and keep finding new stuff like this, and we really appreciate that opportunity. You can also support us by liking, sharing, and subscribing so more people find about us in the channel. Thanks for watching.